Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well and you're staying safe out there. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a no heat call. We have a gas furnace that's not working. Customer says that it's uh, about 50 degrees in the space and it should be around 68. So we're gonna go out there, check it out, see what we find. Let's do some work. All right, so this unit is located in a basement. As you can see, there's some nice access here. And as I crawled in, I could smell gas and the inducer motor was running. It was shutting off, turning on, and shutting off, going back and forth. So I knew we had a problem there. So I want to go ahead and get the meter out, get my headlamp hooked up, and kind of just start inspecting everything. Now, when I know that the inducer motor is shutting off and turning on, I go ahead and just directly dive into it, get the panels taken off. And here's a little hack, do some electrical tape on that switch. That'll keep the unit running with the panels off. So as soon as the power comes on, the inducer motor starts back up. And then I hear a click from the circuit board, but we do not have the igniter is not lighting up. So the first thing I want to do is grab the meter. And one good thing about this field piece meter, it can show you voltage and amp draw at the same time. So what I'm going to do is hook up the leads to check the voltage and then also check the amp draw as well. And as you can see here, I've got the voltage that we're looking for. Roughly 90 volts is what it puts out, but we're not getting an amp draw. So that means the igniter is open. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing removed. I will say, man, it was pretty tight getting that out of there. Those 5 16 screws were kind of difficult to get out. But um, as you can see here, the igniter, not in good shape. So we're definitely gonna get, get this thing replaced. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a new one from the truck and I'm gonna ohm them out. That way you can see the difference. So here's the old one, it's 4,000 ohms, and the new one is 16 ohms. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this new igniter installed. <clears throat> I will say that I was happy that the new igniter came with quarter inch head screws instead of the 5 16 It just makes it for a lot easier install uh, in that burner assembly. There's a little lip there where you mount the, the um, hot service igniter. And those 5 16 screws were just a little too big to get your drill in there. Um, so I was very happy to see that they came with quarter inch screws instead. So it, it reinstalled a whole lot easier than it did coming out. And as you can see there, the front plate on that burner assembly was removed when I got there. It was, wasn't installed at all. Um, this is a 90 plus furnace. So typically, you can have a fresh air ducted or vented from outside. But this one, as you can see here, it's not. So it's really not that big of a deal, but I end up putting it back on at the end. Now, while I was in here, I figured it was a good idea to go ahead and remove the flame sensor and get it cleaned up. Something quick and easy that you can do, prevent any kind of callbacks. And um, the way these things are designed, with that one eyelet there for mounting, there's only one way you can put it back in. So it's pretty simple. Now we got it fired up and the inducer runs. There you go, we got amp draw. And we have ignition. So now our system is operating. Now I just wanna sit back, check everything out. Uh, and then I notice this is a two stage furnace and it's only running in first stage. Then I look at the control board, it wasn't even wired up for, sync, for double stage. And the thermostat's not capable, so I just put a jumper for the uh, second stage there, get everything fired up. Now I'm just going to be uh, testing the temperature rise, make sure everything's looking good overall, airflow is good. I already checked that filter right there, by the way. I didn't show it on camera, but filter's good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the panels put back on, and that way I have an accurate reading of the uh, return. Now this is really comes in handy with these field piece wireless psychrometers. All you need to do is drill a 3 8 hole into the duct and um, they work great. And I prefer to use the measure quick app on the iPhone. And there you go, 45 degrees, looking good. All right guys, there you go. That is my process on how I diagnose a no heat call in a gas furnace. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, see you guys later. Woo!